Welcome back to Advanced Data Analysis. This is Presentation 2, Part 2. In the last presentation, I introduced to you the various types of data, the order of data, from nominal to ordinal to interval to ratio. And in this presentation, we're going to start looking at analyzing data. Remember that when we analyze data, it's all about organizing the data, summarizing the data, showing the data, uh, asking questions about the data. That but what we do is we look at individuals and we look at uh, perhaps people, animal things, and we look at variables, any characteristic of those individuals. They might be a categorical variable in which an individual is in one of several groups or categories, or it might be a numerical, a quantitative variable, in which the, uh, we look at the values and uh, we find an average of those values, a mean of those values, and we look at how those uh, values are displayed. We explore the data. We start off by looking at each variable by, by themselves. We look at how those variables are distributed, how that data is distributed. And then we look at relationships among the variables or between the variables. Here's showing uh, a, a graph of how this uh, miles per gallon uh, data is distributed. As we can see that there's a range of 14 to 34 miles per gallon um, uh, on this chart, uh, but and, and we can look and see how it's distributed here. Obviously, uh, most of the uh, miles per gallon data is between the uh, the 24 and the 33, uh, and not below the 24. And and this information is useful to us when when we look at the distribution. It's useful to us. This distribution tells us what values a variable takes and how often it takes those values. This one looks at the miles per gallon on various uh, automobiles. And look, and this dot plot here at the bottom shows that information, how the miles per gallon are distributed amongst these different automobiles. A dot plot is good for that. And the way that a dot plot is made is shown right here. And we have one axis, which shows the number of goals scored by a soccer team. Uh, and uh, you can see that, uh, for example, uh, most of the goals were scored between one and five goals per game. You can see that right there. It's very obvious. We scale the axis from minimum to maximum, from zero, in this case, to eight. We want to look at the spread. We want to look at the pattern of distribution in terms of the shape of the distribution, the center of the distribution, the mean of the distribution. We want to look at the spread. And we, what we also notice is that outside of the spread, are, there might be some scores, what we call outliers. Look at the distribution. In this case, we can see uh, the variability in, in this normal distribution. We can see where the mean is in this normal distribution. We can also see the amount of skewness or kurtosis. Sk skewness has to do with is, our, is most of the data on one side of the mean or on the other side of the mean. And kurtosis, kurtosis has to do with the range of the data, the range of the data. Uh, if you look at this dot plot, uh, you can see that most of the miles per gallon data is skewed toward higher miles per gallon, toward higher miles per gallon. 
And you might consider 14 to be an outlier away from that spread. So we can describe the shape of the distribution. We can look for the symmetry or the skewness. As you can see, this, uh, this first plot is symmetrical. It's not skewed either way. This one is skewed to the left. This one is skewed to the right. If you look at this one and consider this to be test scores, these people obviously did much better on, a te on this test than these people did right here. So we can compare the distributions. We can compare two or more groups. And we can discuss the shape, the spread, the means of these distributions. Look at the difference of household sizes when we compare uh, the United Kingdom with South Africa. This gives a, a very good visual of the difference in household size. And obviously, uh, the household sizes of the United Kingdom are smaller than the household sizes of South Africa. A histogram is good for looking at quantitative numerical variables and see how they're distributed. And uh, we will show you more about histograms and uh, how data is displayed in the next presentation.